Hey everybody, hopefully you're all having an awesome day. Welcome back to Wire Dog Sick. I'm back with another video for you guys. Before we get into it, you know what to do. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, the content, information discussed, all that good stuff. Hit the comment section, comment below, and your thoughts and opinions on the information shared. Okay, let's get into it here. You got an article here from Decrypt. Hundreds of millions of dollars drained from FTX overnight and unauthorized transfers. Several wallets belonging to FTX were rapidly drained before midnight. And FTX Telegram admin called it a hack and warned users not to visit the site. Now, if you haven't been paying attention in the crypto space, then you would be unaware of FTX. What is FTX? Well, it is a crypto exchange. And in recent events, they've been involved in a lot of drama. I believe they were going to do some kind of deal with Binance, which is another big crypto exchange out there. And that deal fell through. And in turn, the FTX uh, coin has been plummeting. And then you got this news of suppose, supposedly a hack happened, but let's get into the details. Several wallets allegedly belonging to FTX were drained of hundreds of million dollars in coins late Friday night, which much of the funds transferred from Tether into stablecoin DAI and from staked Ethereum into Ethereum the same day FTX filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And it looked too soon, too late at night, and too sophisticated for the actions to be attributed to liquidators. And yes, that is very odd. Several red flags there. I mean, your company files for uh, bankruptcy, and then all of a sudden you got large sums of money being transferred to other accounts. I mean, come on now, that's going to raise a lot of eyebrows here. Anybody with common sense will see that this is highly suspicious. The exodus is we see visible on blockchain tracker EtherScan total around 650 million. Okay, then after 2 a.m., FTX U.S. General Counsel Ryan Miller to call the transfers unauthorized and how the FTX had begun moving assets to cold wallets to mitigate the damage. It was a nightmare evening for anyone with funds on FTX as the hysteria mounted rumors flew, including one about whether FTX CEO Sam Bankman-Fried was on a plane to Argentina in a Reuters report claiming he used a secret backdoor built into exchange to 10 billion to his hedge fund Alameda. And there's the tweeter or the tweets stuff here. If you want to check that out, of course, I'll have the link to this article in the description box. See another eagle eyed blockchain sleuth who goes by this uh, synonym Fubar noticed the transfer of 26 million and issued an alert at 9 47 p.m. Eastern time. And it goes over his tweet there. As movement continued in real time, crypto Twitter erupted in theories. Was it a hack or an inside job? FTX leadership safeguarding their own funds directly disobeying the bankruptcy proceeding. Hundreds of millions of dollars are now flowing FTX wallets. Some speculate liquidators, but it's late on Friday night and not typical times for heavy or such rapid heavy movements. Fubar tweeted, multiple former FTX employees confirmed to me they do not recognize these transfers. And this is great. I'm glad there's people out there that are taking a magnifying glass to these suspicious transactions going on in the crypto space. As you know, and or if you don't know, in recent news, there's been a lot of hacks going on in the crypto space. There's been cyber criminals out there targeting these cross trained bridges, exploiting vulnerabilities in those bridges, and then extracting funds um, into crypt various different cryptocurrencies. And for all this to happen, all of a sudden, it kind of seems like that FTX may be trying to piggyback off of those recent crypto hacks going on, trying to cover up their tracks, but who knows? I mean, these are just initial reports, and as this story unravels, we'll get to the bottom of this um, incident. So according to the blockchain tracking website, D-Bank, $280 million in Ethereum, uh, $99 million in Binance, and $3 million in AVAX were sent to one of the receiving wallets. The draining continued, and it's got more of the tweets there. Let's see here. At 11.08 p.m. Eastern Time, FTX General Counsel Ryan Miller tweeted, investigating abnormalities with wallet movements related to consolidation of FTX balances across exchanges. As crypto sleuths on Twitter surmised, Miller would have been informed if the funds were being moved as part of the liquidation process. And that is true. I mean, as a general counsel, if you've been involved in any type of you know data breach or cyber incident, and it's serious enough, uh, the legal team would know about what's going on here. Just before midnight, an FTX Telegram minister named Ray posted, FTX has been hacked. All funds seem to be gone. FTX apps are malware. Delete them. Chat is open. Don't go on FTX site as it might download Trojans. Okay, well, is this guy really a person that works for FTX? Or is he some kind of, you know, insider or whatever? It just sounds kind of odd. 
that this person would all of a sudden tweet out this has been hacked and all that stuff okay but many unlockers did not buy the idea that this was a hack if you think ftx is being hacked right now you should consider quitting crypto you're too kind and gullible for this industry DeFi pulse founder scott lewis tweeted and then even elon musk tweeted something about it all right let's move on here on thursdays the security commissions of the bahamas where ftx is headquartered or the FTX's assets frozen and assigned a liquidator to the company. So far, $3 billion in crypto has been stolen in 2022 through 125 different hacks, according to chain analysis. Once the dust settles from FTX draining, if it was indeed a hack, that figure would surpass the previous all-time high of $3.2 billion set last year. And yes, I'm glad all these people are looking at this stuff that's been going on with FTX. This is just, <laughs> this is just crazy. I mean, if your company falls for bankruptcy and then all of a sudden these large sums of money have been transferred out of accounts somewhere else you know it's that's just gonna raise a lot of red flags and i'm glad these folks are looking into this let's check out an article from Reuters going over this incident as well all right here we have the article from Reuters. this was on november 12th exclusive at least one billion dollars of client funds missing at ftx okay let's check out the summary here Secret removed 10 billion in the funds, which was already covered in the other article. Showed spreadsheets of colleagues that revealed a shift in funds. Okay, spreadsheets between 1 billion and 2 billion in client money unaccounted for. Executive set up bookkeeping backdoor that thwarted red flags. Whereabouts of missing funds is unknown. So, all this stuff is highly suspicious. I mean, this is a huge scandal in the crypto space. Hopefully, there will be some kind of regulations that come out of this so that. This will deter or prevent such activity from occurring in the future. I mean, this is on the Enron, WorldCom, Arthur Anderson, I mean, Bernie Madoff type of scandal going on. Let's see here. At least $1 billion of customer funds have vanished from a collapsed crypto exchange FTX, according to two people familiar with the matter. Transferred $10 billion of customer funds from FTX to uh, the company. A lot of researchers are... Alameda research, the people told Reuters. A large portion of the total has since disappeared. They said once one source put the missing amount at about 1.7 billion. The other said the gap was between 1 billion to 2 billion. What was known FTX moved customer funds to Alameda. The missing funds are reported here for the first time. Financial holds reviewed in records that Bankman Fried shared with other senior executives last Sunday, according to uh, sources, lace updates, transactions. Okay, okay. Right, right. No, they filed for bankruptcy on Friday. Rush of customer withdrawals earlier this week. A rescue deal with rival exchange Binance fell through, uh, precipitating crypto's highest profile collapse in recent years. And as I said before, I knew I saw something about Binance still falling through, and then uh, the their coin had you know plummeted in price. And text messages to Reuters. Uh, Bankman Fried said he disagreed with characterization of the $10 billion transfer. We didn't secretly transfer. He said we had confusing internal labeling, misrated. Of course, he's going to stay innocent. They did nothing wrong here, folks. Okay. <laughs> These, they were actually hacked. But as I said, we'll continue to see more updates as this investigation continues. Uh, customer withdrawals had surged last Sunday after uh, Chang Peng Zhao, CEO of Crypto exchange Binance said Binance would sell its entire stake in FTX digital token worth at least 500 million or 580 million due to recent revelations. Right. Wow. So, okay, this actually kicked off the price dump here, is what it seems like. And then you got all this supposedly hacking news related to FTX further plummeted the price of this um, token. Several spreadsheets of the company's regulatory, regulatory and legal teams that revealed that FTX had moved $10 billion in the client funds from FTX to Alameda. The two people said spreadsheets displayed how much money FTX loaned to Alameda and what it was used for. They said documents show that one. Okay, we already talked about that. And then it's talking about here, some kind of backdoor. The crisis has sent, can we pronounce that, reverberations through the crypto world. With the price of major coins plummeting and FTX collapse is drawing comparisons to earlier uh, major business meltdowns on Friday, FTX said it had turned over control of the company to John J. Ray III, 
the restructuring specialist who handled the liquidation of Enron Corp, one of the largest bank issues in history. Wow, <laughs> this is just crazy, guys. Um, let's keep an eye on this and see how um, this unfolds. I'm sure there'll be more and more updates as it's come in. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Anyway, if you guys had enjoyed the information in this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below your thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think happened? Is this the crypto hack or is this some kind of stuff going on behind the scenes and we'll have another Enron on our hands? Hit that like button, subscribe and comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. All right, let's just take a quick look at the FTX token. It's right now it's sitting around $2. And let's take a look at this chart here on the, on the 7th of November, it was at $22. So that is a dramatic, dramatic decrease in price as this news rolled out of the Binance still falling through. And then of course, these hacking news going on. Holy moly, this is insane.